My name is Uri Blau, and I'm an Israeli investigative journalist. I've identified and mapped the American nonprofit that are uh, forwarding money to Israeli settlements and organizations that are operating uh, in the West Bank across the Green Line. The idea was to understand how much tax-deductible money arrives from the U.S. to support Israeli settlements. I've been dealing with uh, this topic for years now, I'm covering the uh, situation in Israel, and I've noticed that there is a significant effect of American dollars on the ground in Israel. In 1967, Israel occupied the, the West Bank. And uh, since then, it's been, what, 48 years now, um, it established more than 100 settlements in the West Bank. Today, a few hundred uh, thousand Israelis live in that occupied land. According to the international law, the settlements are illegal. Um, you're not supposed to move population into an occupied land. The fact that the Israeli military need to protect those settlers means that the Palestinians who live there encounter military presence basically on a, on a daily basis. Now, the American administration, ever since 1967, officially says that it is uh, opposing the settlement movement in Israel. But it seems that it's easier said than done, because what this investigation found out is that uh, American taxpayers are basically indirectly subsidizing the settlement movement in Israel. The figures I came up with after uh, recognizing almost 50 uh, nonprofits in the U.S. that are raising money here and forwarding it to uh, communities across the Green Line in the West Bank, the figures are striking. In five years, between 2009 and 2013, the revenue of those 50 organizations uh, exceeds $280 million. More than $220 million were forwarded to, uh, to settlement. Now, this money supports all sorts of causes. It does anything from building synagogues and the yeshiva school, religious schools. It can help build playground for kids. But it also helps purchasing uh, houses of Palestinians in very dense uh, villages in East Jerusalem. More striking than that is probably the fact that this money helped support Jews who have been convicting in acts of violence against Palestinians, ideological motivated violence. So, for example, um, wife of a Jewish guy who murdered seven Palestinians in 1990 received financial aid from an organization that receives money from the U.S. So that's an indirect support in uh, people who, who've conducted uh, the most horrendous crimes. I think people should learn that they shouldn't take for granted what politicians, what the administration here is tell them. On one hand, the administration is saying he is against the settlement. But the other hand of this very same administration is feeding those settlements he's opposed to.